Well, that looks terrible. I probably shouldn't do that anymore. Welcome everybody, Come, uh, welcome back to the channel. So, quick video today. This is not going to be a uh, working on a car or anything like that. I want to talk about heating my garage because it is October, almost November, and uh, it gets cold in the Northeast, especially in the mountains here. So, I've been using a torpedo heater for 15 years, maybe. Yeah, about 15 years. This one right here is a old Buddy Pro, and it's a 75,000 BTU. And I've had it in a couple garages. Um, my typical garage size, uh, my last one was a 24 by 32. This one's a 24 by 32. Last one had 10 foot ceilings. This one has 12 foot ceilings. So it's kind of tough to heat. It's a lot more space. And I see a lot of reviews on things on heaters and torpedo heaters and how to heat your garage. And they're in a single stall garage with an eight foot ceiling. And I'm doing this because I know there's somebody out there that needs to see what I need to see. Um, I, I'm tired of the super loud kerosene heater. I haven't got to the point that I'm ready to put forced air in my garage yet. I did do some, uh, I think it's three quarter inch insulation board. I uh, did that year before last. And, uh, you know, the, the torpedo heater works. It does, a, it does the job, but it's incredibly loud and very smelly. And I'm tired of it. You know, I go out here in the garage and you're waiting for, you know, I, you're waiting for it to warm up and you end up smelling like kerosene. And it, it just makes you not even want to come to the garage in the winter. So I went and I got a new one. And I got this. Got the Master Silent Drive. It's an 80,000 BTU, so it's five more thousand BTU. Now, the 75,000 BTU does work. It, it, it does the job, even in this garage. It, it never, it never going, it's never going to get it, you know, 80 degrees in here, but it'll get it 60, 65. And then I usually cut it off. I'll put the thermostat on it. Now, um, so 5,000 BTU should help a little bit. 5,000 more BTU. The thing about this one is, and I tried to find one that had a, uh, that had a thermostat built into it. The only one I could find is Mr. Heater and I couldn't get any locally. So I went with this from Tractor Supply. Uh, it's the master. It's also the same as the Sunstream uh, made by ProTemp. That's say it's the same heater. So if you're looking at this or you're looking at the pro temp, it's the same damn heater. So I'm gonna give this a try. We're gonna see how this works out. The thing about it is it is ceramic, it has a ceramic face on it. It's forced air, but it's not as forced, I guess. We're gonna find out all this stuff. Um, but the ceramic face heats up and it helps dissipate heat better, heats up objects, something the torpedo heater is not very good at it'll heat up whatever's right in front of it but there's so many cold spots so i'm hoping this helps i'm not going to bore you with an unboxing because i hate that i will take it out of the box i will put it together and i will be right back to you all right we're done it took all five minutes but it's dark outside now so uh let's look at the temperature here looks like the old Amico, however accurate that is looks like it's right at 50 in here uh, thanks to the insulation and it is let's look at what the temperature is outside 42 says so not super duper cold this all you had to assemble was that and there's a little heat deflector right down here at the bottom so I'm going to do a comparison. This isn't going to be a comparison on heat because I know that heats here. I know that does the job. 
<laughs> so it's not really cold enough. I, I can get back to you and let you know. Just drop a comment and uh, let me know what you what kind of questions you have, and I'll answer them as best as I can. This is just kind of my personal uneducated review. I'm going to use the Buddy Pro Air that's probably about oh, at least 10, 12, 15, some, some odd years old. And uh, we're going to fire them up, see how loud they are. So we'll start with that. I'm going to plug them both in. We're going to start with the Master. I am dying to see how this sounds. All right. I've got the garage door open. And we're going to give it a shot. Come back here to the panel. And we're going to hit the switch. Let's see what happens. There's the blower. Are we going to ignite on the first time? I've seen a lot of failures. A good igniter. It is not looking so good. Back on, second try. How are we going to ignite? We ignited. Oh, we never went out. Awesome. It's not a good start, guys. That's two failures. Now, I know this is common. I've read about it. But usually it's one failure. I've got two. All right, that's the cool down fan. Even when you turn it off, it's going to try to run the cool down fan. That's why you can't have it on a thermostat, an external thermostat, because it'll crack this face. All right, number three. There it goes. There's a big old puff. Right now, I'm damn smelling some stuff. I'm smelling some kerosene. I've read that it gets better. I've heard that it gets better. I've watched a lot of videos that say that. So we're gonna find out. All right, kerosene smell is gone, but I do have like a little oil smell. Holy cow, I think it throws out some heat. now it's at 750 degrees already so it's already getting hot it's only been on for uh, what 30 40 seconds maybe wow i'm i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty impressed here now it's not really really cold in here it's still early in the season you know so i just want to give you an idea of the size of the garage so there's my workbench. I got a two post lift here. And got another four post lift over there. A few feet on the side there, maybe four or five feet, maybe. Maybe more. But it's about 32 from wall to wall. And 24 from the front to the back. So I've got 12 foot ceilings. And it started out at 50 degrees in here. I'm telling you, I already feel the heat, and that is insane. How it is already up to 55, almost 54. Again, it's not a cold night. I'm gonna have to redo. I'll have to get back here and let you know how it is on actual cold night. It's supposed to be 20 some degrees here, but that that is gonna get uncomfortable in here quickly. All right. This is more about a noise thing. As I said, it will bring the temperature up. I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes and I'll come right back. So it is, let's see. It is 7.51. So I will come back in a few minutes. Uh, we'll give it, we'll give it 10 minutes. 13 or so, 15 minutes. Uh, I got talking to my wife, went a little over, my bad. We are up to almost 70 degrees already. That is 
Well, that's impressive. Even though it is not, it, it started out 50, but we're already up to 70. Again, it's not a cold night out here. This wasn't intended to be a heat test, but that being said, I'm impressed. It's a lot quieter and the way it heats, it, it feels, I'm looking at my wife trying to get her way in on it. What do you think? Is it feel more like a wider area, right? Like I, I'm actually sweating. So I'm going to turn that off. Let's turn this thing down. Actually, we'll do a noise comparison as good as I can do on video because I don't have a, a decibel reader or anything like that. So here's what the master sounds like without me talking over. going to turn it off the the noise difference is so insane well I'll, I'll turn it off just so it doesn't no noise pollution here all right that's off and the old buddy pro going on I have to talk way louder know what it's going to sound like on video but it is uh, at least three times louder if not more than the master even at least the way i perceive it i have to raise my voice just to talk over it now i'm gonna shut this off that's all i wanted to do with this thing it is a good old heater it is a very good old heater and you're hearing the fan running that for its cool down I can't knock this thing. It has been a trooper. It has started every year at the beginning of the year with maybe I've had to change it with the filters and the uh, spark plug. That's it. This thing has been a rock star for 10 plus years. And I'm not going to get rid of it. It is my backup because I don't know how reliable that's going to be. But noise, smell, the master. The, and I don't know if the new Master Torpedoes are like this, but that thing kicks the living shit out of this. The heat heat dissipation or heat dispersion, dispersion, Dis some D word, the heat, <laughs> the heat is so much more even with that thing than it is with this. This directs heat almost in a little line. That looks, well, that looks terrible. I probably shouldn't do that anymore. Anyway, the, the heat goes that's not too much better uh so it goes out that way <laughs> just straight out and <laughs> the master does uh more of a a wider area i, I feel like a mr miyagi here anyway if you're looking for heat you don't care about the sound and you want something that's going to work and you don't care about the smell this thing is is it's a great choice it really is it has done a great job but i'm tired of the stink i'm tired of the sound and th that feels so far better i'll test them on a cold night but so far that thing is pretty pretty damn good so anyway um i'm not sure what else you want to see from this my my question was when i was looking for a video <clears throat> there was no real comparison on noise between that and that I can still smell this thing and it stinks <laughs> i mean just they're turning off now granted when you start them up they do blow a puff and when you turn them off they're gonna blow a puff i went for this because i know this works i knew that that worked so this should work <clears throat> and so far i'm pretty impressed sorry i got the rona not not really i, I really don't have the rona but uh um that's what we got if you have any questions please drop a comment uh how I even cleared out the mud in my garage for this. It's been very muddy. So drop a comment, like, subscribe, share, tell a friend. Uh, I, I don't know. I was trying to throw something else cheesy in there and I don't know what I could throw in there. But uh, any questions, please let me know. And I will make a video on whatever you guys want. So until then, catch you next time.